Hi guys, today I'll show you how to make dooms like this. I saved the presets from this tutorial so you can download them. Now let's go to After Effects. I've prepared 5 clips for this example. Start with the first one, press Ctrl Alt T to enable timer map, move to the middle, click the stopwatch, then copy the first keyframe to the end. Delete the extra keyframe, select all, press F9, go to graph editor and repeat my graph. To speed up or slow down the clip, go to time, time stretch and adjust the percentage. Repeat the steps for all layers. If you don't want to redo graphs every time, I recommend using the Easy Copy plugin. Select the keyframes with the graph you need, click copy, then paste them onto another layer. This saves a lot of time. For the last clip I added simple Twixer for my free editing pack. Create an adjustment layer with Ctrl Alt Y, now add as blur mode curves, set ZDs to 0.4, in the middle change it to 1 and at the end just copy the first keyframe. For the rotation start at minus 90, in the middle put it 0 and at the end go back to minus 90. After that, copy the graph to keep it smooth. To avoid these black edges, make sure to set wrap X and Y to reflect. Next, duplicate the adjustment layer with Ctrl D for the second zoom. This time, invert the rotation. Instead of minus 90, use 90. If you feel like the zoom is too close, change the Z dist. For the third layer, I'm doing the same as the second one, but I've changed the direction. Instead of zooming in, it's going to zoom out. Also fix the XY center, so it zooms exactly where I want. If you don't see these guys, just click on the toggle mask. For the last one, I won't use zoom, just the rotation. Search again for S blur mark curves. Don't forget to put reflect here. Click on the clock, set rotate to minus 90, then at the end set it to 0. Now select the keyframes, press F9, go to the graph editor and repeat my graph. And that's it, now you know how to make the smooth zooms and rotations. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.